Good morning. It is Friday, which is my favorite, and today is the last day of prep. We are starting work on Monday. Hopefully, I say hopefully because they are calling for snow on Monday, believe it or not. But we're still planning on concrete. This morning, we're going to breakfast all together. Bugs is going to be there. Eric's going to be there. Tino's going to be there. And then Big Ray, the new driver, is going to be there as well and then we're going to go to the yard we're going to pick up the brand new power buggy today do some final prep organization we're going to go get some lumber and stuff for the form truck just make sure we are ready to go monday morning i do have one shout out uh it comes from i think it comes from gabe i only found one little spot with a name on it there wasn't a note or anything and it looks like it came from auto dynasty in texas so i don't know if it's from you gabe or from auto dynasty or you work there but i appreciate this this is really cool i mentioned on a video that i just put out that the headlights on the f350 were looking terrible because the lenses are all uh, fogged up so he bought me and sent me some new lenses for the headlights on the F350. So that's awesome, that makes my Friday even a little bit better. All right, I'm gonna take this trash out and I won't see it at the coffee shop, we're going straight to breakfast. How much garbage do we make? Oh, she's running away, she's not done with work. I think you need to learn the next step now that you know how to take the garbage out. Come over here, I'll show you how to do it. I know how to do it. Oh, you do? All right, let's see what you got. Good work. <laughs> <laughs> you need a little work putting her down, but for the most part, that was pretty good. Hi, guys. Have a good day. It's another gorgeous day today. It's supposed to be close to 80 degrees again today. And then Monday it's supposed to be 40. With snow showers on and off. That's Wisconsin for you. A deer in the neighborhood. That's pretty cool. They just come into our yards and eat the grass. They're not really too worried about anything. And then when I go in the woods hunting up north, they're like 300 yards away and they see you move and they're out of there, like at warp speed. They know what's going on. They know nobody's gonna get them here. It's pretty cool to have deer in the neighborhood though. Morning, good, how are you? Making them hours again today? Today's only 12 hours though. Only 12 today? The weather's getting nicer. Business gonna pick up? Yeah, we're supposed to start Monday when it's supposed to snow. <laughs> <laughs> of course, right? So. I was hoping it would just continue to be like this every day. Yeah, for the rest of the hour. <laughs> yeah, thanks man. Thank you, see you next time. Yep. I know I said I wasn't gonna stop at the coffee shop, but habits are hard to break. And I have to go to the yard early because I got a text message from a friend from church and he's pouring some concrete today and he asked if he could borrow the power buggy i'm gonna go to the yard and take the power buggy off the trailer for him which works out good because we need to get that off the trailer because in a little while in a couple hours we're gonna head to franklin to feral equipment the new location and we're gonna pick up my brand new buggy this is only gonna take a minute i just need to pull f350 up take the buggy down park it over here somewhere where my friend can grab it and then I'm off to breakfast yeah the headlights are all faded out it's the lens it's almost like frosted glass now I don't have time to put those things on right now but I'll get around to it at some point
All right, that's ready to go for him. You know what I did, <laughs> or what I didn't do? I mentioned on the video that I was gonna replace these tires. I went over to Goodyear, asked them about them, and Wednesday, I completely forgot to bring the truck in. I had a lot of other things on my mind. So I'm gonna go over there and ask him if they have any time this afternoon just to swap these tires out. He said they have them in stock. I'm gonna run over there now and just see what they say. Well, they're not open yet. They don't open till eight, so I'm gonna have to stop back over here. I'm just pulling up to Odyssey Restaurant on Appleton Avenue in Menominee Falls. It's one of my favorite restaurants. And it looks like Big Ray's here. First one here. We got a toy for Jade. I know she'll be here today. So somebody sent me this as a gift for Jade and I don't know what happened, but it got put down in my office and I never said thank you for this to the person that sent it. I don't have the note, I don't know who sent it, but if you still watch the channel, thank you very much. I'm sure Jade will thank you as well. First one here, huh? This isn't work though, this is breakfast, so that's different. <laughs> How's it going? It's going good, it's going good. Good morning today. So far. Yeah, that's nice out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It looks like snow on Monday. I know. See I that? saw that. Man, crazy. We'll see what happens. Hopefully it'll be all right. We can start. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Good, how are you? Thanks, for two. Uh, no, we have six. Six, okay, no problem. Bugs is here. Hey, Bugs. How's it going? Good. That's good. Morning. Morning. This is this is Ray. Ray on Bugs. Nice to meet you, brother. Likewise. He's the new driver, CDL driver. Nice. Me and the dog are ready. I know. I saw Jade oh, yeah. right through the window. Yeah. I got a toy for. Her. Awesome. Dude. Right on. She'll chew that up in awesome. five minutes, <laughs> but yeah. I get her up. <laughs> She'll enjoy that five minutes. Yeah, Francisco is still hurt, so. He's that bad, huh? Yeah, it tore, it tore his muscle. Oh. Did you see his leg, the bruising? Yeah, I've seen all the bruising. Yeah. Bugs and... Eric. Eric. Yeah. Big E. It's Easy E. <laughs> Big E, right? Well, yeah. easy. But call me Big E, right? Call me Easy. <laughs> He's got a lot of kids. Yeah, a lot of kids. Not as many as Ryan, no, no. He's got more than me. No way. No way. Yeah. What, dude? Yeah. Dang! Dang! Are you serious? Whoa! I'm busy. Oh, wow. yeah. That's a reaction right there. Yep, I do that all the time. Stop it! So I got fuel cards this year. So there'll be a fuel card in every truck. It's not your fuel card, it's the truck's fuel card. So these just stay in the truck. Do I get the white truck to drive? Good morning, can I get you uh, something? Sure, uh, okay. if you want. It would be easier with my dog. Um, yeah. If you want me to drive, I'll drive. The white truck would be good. But the white well, it's not really white anymore, but the F-350. I can put my tools right in there. I, my dog can ride with me every day if that's okay. Yeah, that's I fine. I keep the dog food right in the back. So you'll put the card in, it'll ask for yeah. a pin number, you put it in, it'll... Yeah. You know, you, we used to have these years ago. Yeah. He was so scared yesterday. Oh, yeah. He was... He's scared to drive the bobcat up and down the trailer ramps because it's kind of steep. You gotta get, yeah, yeah. He was so scared, he, he no, he froze. He yeah. won't even move. I was like, Eric, he go, and he was like this, yeah, locked just up. locked up. I was so scared. <laughs> yeah, he's that time. <laughs> so we got the Mac yesterday, so you can drive that around today. Everything's good on it. It looks nice oh. with the new box. Oh. I can't wait to see it, man. Oh, dude, it the form truck looks nice, man. What were you used to driving? It's the same thing. It's the same thing, yeah. You just you just only do it twice. You don't go back a third time. Yeah, yeah. It's it's easier. I know you're gonna take your truck, but if you guys want to ride with me to save gas, just ride with me, cause we're gonna go to the winter shop. Yeah, cause it's out in Germantown. Yeah, you just leave it here, and then I'll come back here on the way back to the yard. Thanks, Yep. Thanks. Enjoy your weekend. Yeah, you too. You working all weekend? Oh yeah. Always? Yeah, every day. I mean, you know, the restaurant business, that's when we're really like... Yeah. That's when it gets a little... Are you connected connected to the ownership? Yeah, it's a uh, family. Me, dad, and sis. Oh, so there's three. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I didn't know you were like one of the family yeah, members. 
Yeah, it's from one of the numbers, yep. That's cool. All right, well, have a good day. You didn't even get duct tape. That's like... <laughs> yeah, you didn't even get good tape, Eric. He's, he's got packaging tape on here. <laughs> you could at least splurge for some good duct tape or I mean, something. It, it came off in the freeway. That's why it's like, scream. <laughs> it's like, boom. <laughs> I'm going to hit a car. We are at the winter shop. I'm gonna get these guys their t-shirts and hoodies and Bugs his muscle shirts. Bugs is the only one that wears those. He's the only one qualified. Hi Jade! Wow, welcome Jade. Jade's here. Jade. Chill out, come on. Gonna pick up any toy. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna pick up something. She's looking. What size you wear? Large. Large? Yeah. You're gonna wear a muscle shirt for real? That's gonna be embarrassing. Like. I can do sound effects. Yeah, yeah, when you see me running, like, hey, go get this. He goes, Everything jiggles. Oh, care. man. I don't care. Yeah, female. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, yeah. look at that. Look at that, bug. Woo. 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 How many do you want? How many do you need? Well, if I got five, that's one for every day. There's five. <laughs> and I'm going to give you a couple more hoodies, too. They're nice and light, too. I like that. Yeah. Yep. Real nice. Thank you. What size are you? Um, depends on the brand, but the muscle shirts. XX large or XXX large. It depends. I don't have XXX. I got double X. So you're gonna have to just you're gonna have to just lose a little weight if they don't fit. Yeah. 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 Yep. We're parking in the street. In the street. Yeah, I've got to park in the street because I got two more trailers this year. That's That's we fine. gotta go back to that That's again. Yeah. I just, yeah, go. Just Eric wants me to buy a golf cart and I pick you guys up in the morning oh, from the road. Yeah. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Hear about them guys? They got run over. <laughs> All right. so yeah. yeah, thanks. Bye, Jay. Come on, turd. Let's go. <laughs> he calls his dog turd. Yeah. yeah. Yep. <laughs> and then you need t shirts too, right? You're going to wear t shirts also, right? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if you were going straight muscle shirts like Bugs or not. Bugs does not wear t-shirts. So here's five of these. Okay. You got enough clothes, I don't want to see you wearing no other brands or anything. It's victory style every day. Okay. Cause you got seven shirts there, three hoodies. Yeah, cause last year I was wearing- You got to do wash at least once a week. Oh, I do, I do wash, it's just I didn't have enough. Okay, well, there's plenty there now. All right, here's five t-shirts for every day of the week. So now Tino and Francisco, they still gotta get their stuff. Oh, yeah. Hey, I should make <laughs> me yesterday. I should make comments during the videos like, hey, I don't even really think we need Francisco oh, anymore. Oh, you're gonna need oh, him right now. He'd text me right away. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, he's like, don't do me like that, please. <laughs> All right, I'm just pulling back into the yard. It's just about 10 o'clock in the morning. And I'm gonna have Ray drive the dump truck around. This is it. Huh? This is it. Oh, so brand new. <laughs> no, it all it only looks new cuz cuz this is a brand new box. It is brand and new. then they sandblasted and painted the frame. But it looks yeah. new, right? It's an old truck though. It's, it's but it's a good truck. It did an amazing job. I mean, man, I can't tell if it's broken or anything. Everything <laughs> looks good. Yeah. Good. And then basically jack it up. It's simple. Okay, Eric, give it some turns. Eric will show you how to maneuver this jack properly. <laughs> so why don't you just go in there? I'll go on the passenger side. Okay. Eric, start up the form truck and the F-350. Go ahead, start it. That's good, you don't have to worry about that. It's gonna, it's gonna buzz for a while. Until your air gets up, obviously. I don't. Until your air gets above 70, it'll buzz. Yep. Just like every other truck. 
Scott area. He, he has the criteria of being a trucker. Oh, he's not a trucker. He said he's always scared of being in a truck. <laughs> he's always scared that's good. To have a truck like this. No, you can't be scared of everything, <laughs> man. I'm scared of that ramps. Oh, the ramps? Yeah, he is scared of the ramps. All right, we got air. Hey, I'm going to drive with him for a minute to show him how to dump and make sure he knows how to shift and stuff. Oh, the PTO is right here, power takeoff. So you got that's the, uh, that's, that's the, uh, that's the pump. The that's the pump, yeah. So put the clutch in and he put that up. Yep. And then let the clutch out. So now that's spinning. It's good. You can hear it actually. Yep. Yeah. And then once I got my foot on the brake, so I yeah, got a neutral. Yeah, Wait, the, this is I usually leave it off because it, because when I when I dump, yeah, you can go slide forward. Yeah, so yeah that's I do I do that, that too. Yeah. So that's it then. Then it's here's your tailgate. So you'd open your tailgate. That's the tailgate to unlatch. Yeah. So that'll unlatch it, and then raise and lower. That's it. It's the same. Almost. It's the same. same yeah. All trucks are kind of the same. Does it go slower? Like you can make it go slower than, or just well, you can make it go faster than that if you hit the throttle. Yeah, okay. But you know, you can give it a little bit of throttle, but you don't want to go too crazy because no, it spins that pump. Yeah, yeah. What? How long are you gonna take so I can go to the bathroom quick? Over here, so let's speed it. So that's a vibrator. It's a vibrator. It vibrates oh, the box. Oh, that is nice. I didn't have that in my semi. Yeah. So no. sometimes when the dirt is like muddy or you want to get that last you know, little bit good. of gravel. I, that, that's awesome. That so I once have. it's all the way up. You I can, didn't know they had such a thing. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess for dump trucks it's different. Than, yeah, it's different. Than, than once it's all the way up, you can hold it for like five seconds or whatever. Right. And I'll shake everything down. That's good. That's and good. then you can let it down. And then how do you drop your, uh, your axle? Your the tags are right here. So, just, so you push both of them in. This one and this one? Yeah, both of them. And then... That one, push it hard. Oh, okay. So now they're going now down. They're, both of them are going down, right? Yeah, both. Yep, front and back, yeah. Okay, See, it slides in pretty good. Yeah, it's really good, yeah. yeah. Oh, you got it. Yeah, I got it. I, I now that's it. A little bit under yeah, the now they're. Every I, clutch I always got to get used to. I just, yeah. I don't know why, it's just me. Yeah, just, that one's a little sticky. You know, the pedal sticks a little bit, but it's not bad. Uh, I, my clutch, I like floating it. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I do. I never use a clutch, man. Because this truck is pretty easy shift, and once you get used to it, but well, you're getting it already, see? Yeah. It's just like your second time through the gears. You'll be popping wheelies on the freeway in no time. Yeah. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. No. Nah. I need to get used to that clutch. It yeah, just, just hit, hit up. Um, all right. See, now you got it good. Yeah, I'm getting it now. Yeah, once you feel it, you're good. When I do it, I always use this one. With the bigger hose, it's a high flow. That one takes longer to fuel. How's it going? Um, I got one receipt, but I need the other one from the diesel. Really need it. <laughs> I almost did it. I almost, I almost killed it. it. Oh, that's not good. Come on. All right. Let's go. Now you're there good. There you go. That's where I want. Once you hit that, once you hit that sweet spot, yeah. then it's really easy. So me and Eric got to leave. Okay. I want you to drive some more without me, without having pressure of me sitting right here. Sounds so you can relax and just feel the truck out, you know. So yeah, just just drive around for like a good half an hour, 45 minutes. I mean, you got a full tank of fuel, just so you're feeling comfortable with the clutch and everything. You know what I'm saying? It's good. I know it's kind of weird with me sitting here, but I want to make sure you're it's safe. I'm trying to get rid of it. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> so you can drive by yourself now, relax and Sounds just good. Yeah, feel it around. Feel it all out, and then whenever you're done. Just back into that trailer that we just disconnected. No, up. don't don't connect it. Just you can stay a foot or two away. That's fine. Just back close to it and then shut it off. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Yep. See you later. Let's go get the buggy. 
Did you shut the trucks off? Yeah, I shut them off. Because diesel ain't free, right? Yeah. Thank you, Eric. Yeah. You're looking out for the company. Uh, oh, you know what? Did I bring my checks? Because I'm pretty sure they're going to want money for the oh. power buggy. Oh. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Hey, that Mack dump truck looks pretty nice. Yeah, a new box on it. Yeah, except for the bumper. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, or, I know. I ordered a new bumper. It's Did just you? not in yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, the bumper looks terrible. I know. That's like It doesn't a, match at all. That's like wearing a $300 suit and you got dirty tennis shoes. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I just got it back I was, yesterday. I was going to bring that up to your attention because I thought you'd be smarter than that. What, the bumper? Yeah. Nah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks. Yeah. How's my truck going? I should have it done parked here tomorrow. Is there any way you can switch out that seven way in the back? I really don't have time to do that. Uh, yeah, me too, but let's see what I can do. <laughs> see what I can do. Thanks. It's right here, Eric. Wow. Barrel. Oh, yeah. Yep, right there. I, so, didn't know, I didn't even know they had one. It just opened, it's brand new. It's a brand new location. Nobody's here, right? Somebody's here, Eric. He called me yesterday and said the power buggy's in. They just opened it, so they don't really oh. have much going on just Eric, yet. Like, what the? And I just seen three cars. But they will have something going on. Oh, I'm coming here for sure. So we're in Franklin. Are you gonna be the first customer? I don't know, but we need to do something with this rebar. Look at this, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad, man. I thought you said you fixed it. I did, but they just probably just came back. Right, right oh, right. we got to deal with that. Yeah, yeah we're going to have to push them. Yeah. This is it. No. Nope. Is that yours? That's not mine. Oh, yeah. Is that yours? Yeah. 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 No. Yeah. That's not mine. Oh, wow. Good. How are you? All is well. You guys are already stocked up. Wow. Yeah. You're ready to go pretty much. Yeah. Nice. Got the stop sign, got wheel bros on the back. Oh, do you have any of the uh, Sterlings here? Yeah. Because I ordered uh, I ordered two Sterlings. Somehow we have to work it out. I got to take the Sterlings today oh, yeah. and just take it off of the order, the big order. Oh, did you do one at the show? Yeah, I ordered two Sterlings at the show. Okay. You know how to use this, Eric? That's right. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure, Ryan. I did a lot of basements. I used to use the white one. This is an Allen though. This is a good one, man. I used to use one of these, but with that same style. They got the edge machines. Yeah, the one with the pull. Uh, I need to adjust the, the blade heights. I don't know. I never use this one. Let's try this one. Got the power screeds. Oh, you should buy them. Oh, look at the edges. Yep. Wow, we got I ordered a bunch of Marshalltown tools. Yeah? From the show, yeah. A bunch of mags, edgers. Yeah, I need to get some of these. Sprayers. Some of that. So we'll do the little the corners, yeah. Yeah, we should. Because Bong only had one, I gotta get that. Got the rebar. Is that power buggy ready to roll? Right. Got gas right. and everything? Okay, yep. perfect. We're just gonna look around since it's, a, since it's a new store. Look at this, right? It's gonna get bigger. Excuse the mess. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, that's okay. You're still. Still working on it. It's in, it's in progress. All right, so I'll take the wheelbarrow and then, you know, I'm gonna take the buggy, obviously. Okay. Can you go grab my checkbook that oh, I brought? Yeah, it's yeah. on the dash. How much of this building is yours? The whole thing. There's more past there too, isn't there? Yeah, we've got one warehouse and a cold warehouse. So, yeah, uh, we're, really, we're really excited about it. It looks, it's bigger, much bigger inside than it looks from the outside. It looks big from the outside. He's gonna show us around. The power buggy's over here. Yep. Yeah. Look at this one. That's it, Eric. We just got all our racking, so we got it all. No, that's not mine. Is this mine? The 21? This mine? Yeah. Wow. That's a different motor. That's the one that, uh, that Alan sent for you. That's fine with me. <laughs> <laughs> that's look fine look, with me. Look, you got key ignition, dude. Yeah. It's got electric start? All right. We don't have to be like... <laughs> this engine's super big, dude. It's big. It's what got a spin on <laughs> filter. It looks like a speaker. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, it's good. Bluetooth. Yeah. It's an eight inch sub just for <laughs> you, Eric. But this is our warm warehouse. Oh, I'm not done looking at this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I need it. I just <laughs> need it. I need a minute just to soak it in. <laughs> dude, right, Eric? It's super nice. 
Yeah, it is. I mean, you got the big engine. Big bucket, too. This is 21 cubic foot. No way. So how many yards? It's not yards. It's 21 cubic oh. feet. The other one, the I had the 16. That's what I own yeah. now. It probably says it on the tag. Nothing over here. 20 horsepower. It's 20 horsepower? Ours is only a 13. 13. <laughs> wow, so this is... This is awesome, man. I'm super excited about this. Eric, we gotta keep this super clean. This is the nicest power bug you ever had. This is a nice, clean shop. This isn't even that old, is it? I mean, it's not old, old. The building's been around for a while, but it's been a couple of different things. In the yeah. Past. It used to be like an LED light. Factory. I saw that on the maps. We got a, a bunker there that used to have like flammable gas. So I don't know what oh, else they okay. were all doing yeah. in there. But now keep in mind, this is all going to get eventually filled. Wow. Eric, this is enormous. This is huge. We just got our flatbed truck for this location yesterday. It's brand new. <laughs> We've already scuffed it a little bit. Cause... Brand, brand new? Yeah. Yep. You guys are mostly like a concrete supply store. That's what we are. That's what we pride ourselves on. Anyways. All right. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. Let me yeah. Get you set up out there. Or... Yeah. Yeah. We just got to drive it out the door and right up on the trailer. Yeah. All right, I think she's ready. She is. I'm going to leave a choke on her. I like how it sounds. Yeah, it sounds like a drag car, <laughs> right? Yeah. You do that, I can tell you. Huh? Are we taking that one? Yeah, we're taking both of them. Big Eric. you met him at the show he's the one that okayed the other wheelbarrow all right so. yeah so i owe him something you owe him something yeah, yeah. i'll oh say God. he's one of the best associates i've ever met yeah that's not true yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah that's, you don't want to lie so how's it going man good how you doing Ryan? good good you yeah. weren't lying about not taking that thing off till you lost a little bit of weight huh i did lose a little bit of weight the sweatshirt on the ramps, it would, this was just a typical equipment trailer. This was all on the back. I cut it all off, put it up here yeah. for the power bug in. Yeah, oh, that's nice. Built a mesh holder there. Yeah, they just come with the forks, with the whole bunk of mesh, and just pop it on a trailer, and away you go. We know we'll have all that here. Yeah, oh that's yeah. the outdoor areas. Yep. I'm going to definitely get you guys pricing whenever you get that stuff in. Because, I mean, a bunk will last us a little while. Okay. So it'd be worth the trip for us. Do you ever use rolls or is it just sheets? Never use rolls. You don't like them? No, not anymore. Back in the day, I used a lot of rolls, but I'm over that. All right. Yeah, you obviously have a lot of followers. I mean, yeah. You can see the numbers. Yeah. But the impact that you make on them is, I mean, we've had probably, what, five people come in the doors? Somebody was in yesterday saying they said. Yeah. Did you strap the front of the buggy, Eric? Yeah. You did? Yeah. It's strapped? All right. Okay, thanks, guys. Cool. Appreciate it. You. Yeah. And I'm Scott, the yep. manager. So if there's anything yes, you guys need, let me know. Yeah, we'll be we'll be around for sure. We'll come back once you get all fully stocked and check it out. Come in before that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's going to be constantly evolving for a little while. Yeah, for sure. All right. Have a great weekend, guys. Thank you. Good luck with it. Thank you. Don't hit I'm really happy with that buggy. Oh, Electric start. You don't have to pull it at all. Oh. Hey, look who's here. Mr. Bobby or Daryl? No, that's Mr. Bobby. He came to see us. Yeah, he's right there, Mr. 
Bobby! Where you going with it? How's it going? So so. Uh, well, we're not actually working. Yeah. We just went to pick up the brand new power buggy. Oh. They just came for breakfast and then they left. Brand new. Bobby used to run the no, power buggy. Brand yeah, brand new. The other one was new. Oh, uh, the other one was sort of new. He yeah, he, he used to run a buggy for one. real. Bobby did. Can you imagine that? I did. What? He used to run the power buggy. What's yeah. You go and pick it with my gas so that I don't have to climb out. <laughs> yeah, you can come with if you want. Oh, I climb out if it's square. I'll fill your tank. We're going to the one on Silver Spring and Lily. Okay, we came over to the gas station again. Get the stuff fueled up for Monday. Mister. Bobby! Where'd he go? He's a... Gas gas? Just turn it on and fill it, Eric. He'll hit the button inside. Use the one with the thicker hose, it goes a lot faster. I'm gonna get Bobby some gasoline. This thing good on gas? Probably. That's not bad. You need a car wash, Bobby? All right, I put no. You sure you were empty, Bob? It only took five gallons. Well, I want to pop it off today. That's about what it was going to do. Oh, well, you're easy. That's only 17 bucks, man. Yeah. Got it, Eric? Yeah. Oh, I'll show you how to fix that. Those are easy to fix. This? Yes. You just go like this. All done. Okay. You don't have to ever worry about it again. Yeah, because that's, that's a good time. How's your day? It's a good hectic day. Hectic? Yeah. We're going to throw all these rebar on the form truck. They don't belong on this trailer. Is Luke there? Yep, hold oh, please. I'm gonna see if they can get these tires on. I highly doubt it. It's almost 1.30 in the afternoon on a Friday. But it's worth a phone call anyway. Ryan. Hi. I forgot about you guys on Wednesday, to be honest. That's fine. Is there any possibility this afternoon you could do the two? Or no? Just... Um, I am actually gonna be rolling out the... I'm punched out. I'm gonna roll out the door. Oh, okay. They should have time. I do have the tires here. Um, All right. Whenever you come down, talk to. I think Zach was standing here with me, right? Yeah. Or Ryan, you forgot about us. You want to come in this afternoon? Yes, sir. All right. No problem. I'll be right. I'll be right there in like ten minutes. Sounds good, buddy. All right. Bye. bye. All right. That is what I was hoping they were gonna say. Pull that new trailer out. I'm gonna back the mesh trailer in. I gotta discon disconnect the mesh trailer. We gotta take this truck in real quick for tires. You jumping up? There's a, Eric, I made a ladder. Use the ladder. It's so much easier. Look it. Try. Nice, right? I hope they didn't change the design. I know another company bought them out. I mean, they look the same. They can look the same. They look the same. <laughs> I don't know. That's good. They look nice. All right, I'll see you later. No problem. No. Oh, yours? No, yours looks good. Okay, forget it. No, it's good. 
just turn it around backwards and, and put it next to that truck and leave the key in it and roll up the window. The key's in it, it's right there. Right and we won't be back until right before you close, so you got time or whatever. Okay. Yep. Well, I'll get it in now. Thank you very much. All right. <laughs> Like every commercial tire that I've ever bought from the time I opened the business pretty much was from here. And I don't know how many tires that's been, but it's been a ton. Right here where it comes out. See that? Yeah. You can it for one. Yep. I don't like jumping up and down like that. It's always something. Always something. Shock. Yeah. Shocks all soaked. Okay. I only replace them. I never rotate them. You gotta, you gotta rotate them. <laughs> mm -mm. You're gonna have that high end. I know that. Straight axle. Well, I can't get. You just gotta change the tires for now. We're starting Monday, so that's oh, gonna. That's fine. We'll yeah, so that's know. that's gonna wait. Dale have to fix that at a later date. Just so you know. Oh, I know. It's not a 10 minute job, everything's got to come apart, you know. All right, I'll go get tires. We'll do two fronts. I got a backup truck now, so it's not like this truck is so important like it has been, because I bought another truck just for this reason, just in case this one goes down. These things suck too, I hate to tell you. That's the 2000, 2004s. This thing here. Yeah, I have to look at it. It's still bad here. They rust so bad. Yeah, I tried turning it. It'll wipe the threads right on. Yeah. So you gotta end up replacing both tire rod ends and it's sweet. Yeah. All right, I'll let you know. Right. Yep. Thank you. We're gonna go back, get the form truck, and then go to Home Depot and get all our two by four lumber. Get our nails. Actually, I'm gonna go right now and get our nails. They're right here. And then we'll get our tap cons. All right, we're at Z's Builder Supply. <laughs> Hi, Jim. Hey. How you doing? All right. I need nails. Nails? Yep, duplex nails. Hey. This, is, this is Eric, 16. but you can call him Easy. -E. <laughs> <laughs> Not tens. I got tens, eights, and sixteens. No, we want eights. Do we need anything else from here, Eric? Uh, wow, these are heavy here, Eric. Do we need plastic? We don't even have a roll of plastic. Yeah, can we have some plastic? We even start raining. You got 20 by 100? Yep. It's supposed to be raining it's first. It's up to you, whatever you want. I mean, if you trust me, you can start a list. If you don't trust me, I'll you pay. You've been around here longer than me. <laughs> That's true, I have been here <laughs> You know I always pay. Yeah, I'm not Always pay. Eric, go grab the other black one like this. Yeah, yep, see you, Jim. Look at that track off, dude. It's a track off. Is it? Yeah, it's a oh, track yeah. off. Well, just from the brakes? Yeah. Maybe they're just yellow brakes. No, no, Ryan. That's a track mm, off. I don't know, go, Eric. Go check. I think he just has yellow painted brakes. Dude, it's a track off. It says track off right there on the, on the bottom uh, emblem. Let me see. Yeah, it's supercharger. You see? Track. I know when I see a track off, Ryan. What's the difference between the SRT and the track hop? Yeah. Always keep two rolls of plastic on the truck. We have to be prepared. Oh, we need to be prepared. We're pouring rain or shine this year, Eric. <laughs> All right, I'll meet you at Home Depot. We got to load up with lumber, tap cons. Let's see. We're going to be pulling out. We're going to take all the lumber they got. Pretty much. Give me everything you got in the back, please. They're just two hours. Right. These right here. We use a lot of these. For the tap cons. Yeah, tap cons. I'm gonna get some red ones too because sometimes those little gutter screws are this side. <laughs> I'm gonna get a whole kit, Eric, like I have at the shop. Uh -huh. Just for uh, to have just to keep it in the truck. Just in case we come across some special screw. We need we need bungees. We always lose our bungees, so we should get a bunch of those. We need tap cons. 
I know you had some in the shop, but I left them over there. So. We used uh, two and three quarters right here. These are our most popular ones right here. This is always an adventure. Finding straight. How's it going? Hey, James. Truck out there. Oh yeah, a couple of them out there. We're starting on Monday, so it's last minute buy everything you might need. Yeah. This one's not bad. I'm you. The first one. This could be our luckiest day ever. I mean, it's not straight, Eric, but it's not so crooked that you can't fix it with pins. This one's pretty crooked. Let's put this one down. We need a lot, Eric. I think we should get like 25. You're good. Thank you. Yep. He looks like he enjoys his job. He likes that thing. Yeah, he can tell. Oh, 846. That's not that bad. It's cheap, dude. Last thing was expensive. Oh yeah, way cheaper. It's all right. First job is a long driveway, slightly curvy. So it'll be all two by four scabbed together for the most part. Yeah. <laughs> We're guessing. Y'all need 18? Doesn't matter. That's enough. Yeah. James, what's your channel? Patriot Homecraft. What? Patriot Homecraft. Patriot Homecraft? That's your channel? Did you make any videos yet? This is my first one today. This is your first one? Oh, give good. It a go. Yep. Gotta give it a go. See what happens. What's your. Oh, cashmere. I thought it said cash money. I was like, wow, easy money at Home Depot. I know, right? I wish it was cash money, though. <laughs> that's what most people call me anyway. Oh, that's your nickname? Yeah, they call me that, or cash, or cashews, or cashews clay. Why is this wood so expensive? I don't know. What's that? Real busy? Yeah, we're pretty busy. You got any idea what a 24 by 24 would sell at the garage today? What kind of slab? A garage floor? Yeah. Detached? Floating slab? It's going to be up against another garage, but yeah, just plain slab. Keys in the ignition. I'll meet you at the yard. All right, we got plenty of lumber. Extra lumber. At least to get started for the season. This is what you right? That's it? No, Eric, we're not done. We gotta go pick up the dually, bring that back, then we gotta hook up the trailer back to the Mac, load up the skids here, and go fuel all that up. Come on. Why do you wanna go home? It's only three o'clock. No, I'm not trying to go home. Okay. I'm just saying. These guys are so fast. Are you done already? You're so fast. All right, thank you. Did you do the paperwork already? Man, you're fast. It's a matter of the thing. Right. That's for me? We're just building the account, right? I was just going to pay if you want. Oh, you're just going to pay? I don't see why not. You can do that as well. Never turn someone's money down. Exactly. You thirsty? One in each hand? I was going to bring one of those oh, guys water. Mr. Now, now, I'm, now I'm showing you my... Mr. Nice like guy, yeah. Here, you know? uh -huh. Stop by the salt shed. Take all these bags back by the bulk salt and okay. we'll cut them open and empty them. Okay. Because it's just leaking on the bed, it's going to rot it out. Yeah. Hey, put the salt away and then back that there. I'm going to pull those two trailers out. I got to get that plow behind the shed. Okay. That's got to go. That's right in the way, man.
I realized that we don't have the buckets here. I got the half bucket, but I don't have the tooth bucket or the flat bucket. I think the tooth bucket's at the winter shop. I'm pretty sure. So we're gonna take this truck to the winter shop and pick that up and then come back. I, I think the flat bucket is either there or at my church. I, I don't know, I can't remember, but we need to go find the buckets. Skid loader with no buckets does me no good. We gotta go find the right buckets and put them on here. Those are not the right buckets. We're at the church, might have one here. That's it. That's it. I'm gonna see if I can wiggle it out with this little machine so we don't have to move all this stuff. I think I can get it. Ryan's here! Got a girl guy! Come right along here. Only easy money when I'm working. Yeah. School's harder than work? Oh, way harder. Way harder, come on. Use your body, use your mind. One or the other. Look, we even have nice hooks now. Oh, it's so nice to have a flatbed. That's what I was just saying to my to myself. I'm yeah. Like, this is why I want to get a flatbed. This is this one. If you want to, you want to have a bed. Oh, yeah, I want to even try to put it on. You have to bring the mag or hit the trailer. Yeah. Now we're finally at the winter shop. We need to pick up the tooth bucket, which is on the New Holland right now. Take that side off now, Eric, and take the strap back off. I'll bring it out. You got to take it out from the middle and you got to be even with it. Come on, baby. <laughs> God. Oh. I'm so weak, man. This is... oh. <laughs> At least you're honest. Oh no, Dan's here. Oh, Dan's here. Oh. Take the front. What'd you say? How did the buggy turn out? Oh, good. Yeah, we put the new motor in it. They put a new motor in the yes. buggy? No, the no, the wheel motor. Oh, the wheel motor. I gotta just move this welder, move that punching bag, and that's it. Our bucket's right up there. Are these the forks that were on the trailer? Yeah. Are they? So those go on the trailer too? Oh yeah, those forks that are at the yard stay at the yard. That's right. So we need to take all this. Look at all the stuff you can fit on the flatbed. That's crazy. I don't know if this is gonna fit here. No, I don't know. I think it's not gonna fit. Just barely. Give me a hand with this one. I don't think this one's gonna be easy. Set in the back. Take the other side off, take the straps off. Strap.
good, Eric? What are you looking at, Eric? It's a ball in there, right? Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna need a lot of patience again this year. Lots of patience. I got a new driver now too, so that's gonna add to a little bit of frustration until he really learns what he's doing. You gotta do what you gotta do. Eric, if I got out of this truck, that's not gonna go on. No? Eric, tell me when it's lined up. Okay, but I'm scared. Man. Okay, so you see it? Scared? How are you gonna say you're scared? Boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wait, just go, you see it, Eric. Just go like this. Just tell me which way to go, Eric. It's okay. really easy. Good now, Eric. I suck at it, right? I know, Eric. I know. The truck is full. I'm debating whether I should go to the gas station just to fill the auxiliary tank or not. Because I know the first job, I won't even burn through a whole tank. So I'm debating right now because I really feel like going home. I have a lot of stuff to do tonight. I think I'm just going to back in. It'll get us through the first job. And then when I fill it the second time, I'll do the skid steer and the auxiliary tank. Yep, that's the plan. I'm going home. Tomorrow I'm just going to come do the registration stickers and that's pretty much it. I need to mount the license plates on the green trailer, the Moy trailer, and then the, the new trailer that I bought. And then I need to get all the fuel cards in all these trucks, the registrations, insurance cards, and then we're ready to roll. Go on the other passenger side, adjust the mirror. This one? Yeah. It's tilted too far in, or too far out. I need it tilted in. No, 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 close the door. He's gonna, no, no, <laughs> no, come on. Okay, what, wait. In, towards me, towards me. Uh, more. Uh, that's pretty good. Okay. Thank you. We're ready. <laughs> we're ready, Eric. No, we're ready for real. Look, we're ready. This is Monday morning. We come here, jump in the trucks, and go to the job. The skid steer is full of fuel, so I don't really need fuel in the auxiliary tank. The Mac is already filled. 
those two trucks are full we got gas mixed gas we got nails and screws new power buggy we got wire mesh and rebar and just make sure you're ready on monday Go for a couple jogs this weekend, oh, please. Yeah, I'm gonna try to do it Saturday tomorrow. Yeah. It's still nice and Sunday. In the rain, like Rocky. In my road. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's coming. Everything's coming right in. The... Yeah. Okay. I can't run it right. All right. I'll see you later. Yep. Yep.